Good morning people, I hope you're all doing well. I'm filming a video today that you have requested, which is what I eat in a day. So I wanted to film a kind of intuitive eating what I eat in a day because I feel like most of my diet and most of what I eat is kind of intuitive. I don't really, like I know a little bit of my macros, I know what is protein, what is carb, I know which food is what, so I don't really have to other think every single time I eat and I don't really like calculate every single thing like I prefer to see food at oh this is like protein or this is like the amount of veggies that I need or that I crave because sometimes I crave savory food and I know if like for example I eat something sweet then I'm just gonna crave still something savory and I'm just gonna eat more so I really try to listen to what I'm craving and then I eat that I mean like in a reasonable way you know if I'm craving chocolate I'm not gonna eat the whole package of it because it's not it's not balanced okay but I really want to go deeper into intuitive eating and read more about it before sharing stuff on my channel and before like explaining it to you I really want to just know it like a hundred percent before like myself and then I can just share it so we're just gonna do like a normal what I eat in a day today and even though it looks like it is intuitive because for me that's how I eat on a daily basis I call that today a normal what I eat in a day so this morning I have my coffee I don't drink coffee every single morning it happens here and there and I drink coffee most of the times when I do a leg day because I need like an extra boost to do leg day or if I go for a run I drink coffee but other than that I rather like drink coffee outside and I don't drink like Americano or like cold brew coffee I like my coffee to be like latte so for my breakfast I usually make oatmeal smoothie bowls or smoothies as well I did like I baked something yesterday it's just those small like it's kind of I wanted to make a kind of banana bread muffins because I love banana bread in those ones I use quinoa flour I also use oats and I use a lot of banana so honestly like like one is really feeling Shawty made that ass clap, she don't need no applause High fashion, like go yard G-Wagon, or the Rover I put some ice on you cause you got a cold heart I know I gotta keep my shawty on go go Drop that ass to the floor for you You ain't gotta deal with none of these niggas no more If we hop in the beans, is that okay? Is it okay if I call you my Prada, babe? I ain't no player, I just got a lot of bait. But let me tell you, I like you a lot, babe. I wanna start at the top and the bottom, babe. Now you want to shoot with the red at the bottom, babe. You know I like when you right at the top, babe. She wants your name, name, and D-O-Yo. -Yo. I'm only doing cash, yeah, I don't need promo. I pull up to the high rise, I'm in the 4 4 Inside Coco. If I got a feeling, I keep it inside my heart. And I keep a pedicure, cause I don't do facades. You can see my diamonds even when I'm in the dark And since you got it, it make you go and do anything you want Shawty made that ass clap, she don't need no applause High fashion, like go yard G-Wagon, or the Rover I put some ice on you cause you got a cold heart I know I gotta keep my shawty on go Drop that ass to the floor yeah. oh, oh. You ain't gotta deal with none of these niggas no more If we hop in the beans, is that okay? Is it okay if I call you my Prada, babe? I ain't no player, I just got a lot of babe. But let me tell you, I like you a lot, babe. I wanna start at the top and the bottom, babe. Now you want to shoot with the red at the bottom, babe. You know I like when you ride at the top, babe. If I hit it front and back, she gon' hit the sidewalk. If she got a best friend with her, take her back to Milo. Got a five in the morning, wildin', wildin'. And her name ain't Megan, but she a style, you Never keep my hoes divided. Remember, I was pullin' up in the valley. And you know I take her so when she ride. Sweaty in the sneakers, all kids, oh. Shout it out and drop it. I am back from the gym, as you've just seen. 
scene it was hot and it was hard but i loved it like i trained legs so i did squats as the first exercise of my workout because like i said it requires 200 percent of my energy and i know like if i do it at the end of my workout then i'm gonna be like too sore or fatigued and my legs can't really lift that much but let's be honest here i hate squats i mean it depends i like kettlebell squats or like kind of light squats but super heavy squats is like for me it's the worst exercises ever i know it's one of the best exercises, not just only for legs but it requires every almost every muscle of your body so it's like a really complete and full exercise but i can help it i don't like this move my body never liked it i have some personal trainer is my form correct and stuff like that and we're like yeah you're fine i try to look straight have a straight back not my knees inside so i'm not a huge fan of it but i still do it because it's one of the best so what i do is i just put the bar first i mean you didn't see it i didn't film it but i did like a 10 minute warm-up like glutes activations with like resistance band and also like machines with light weight to just activate my glutes and then i went to the squat rack and i hate i hate like guided squat rack the feeling when you squat is so different from an actual regular squat so i'm not really a fan of them but i know some people really love it so you know it's just up to you so i start just with the bar and then i increase the weight gradually even if i know i can lift i can lift around 35 kilos sometimes 40 if i'm like in a really really good mood and full of energy but most of the times for now it's just 35 kilos i don't know i don't know if it's heavy for you for you but for me it's already super heavy i know it doesn't sound like a lot but it is so i don't start straight with 35 kilos i start just with the bar then I add like five kilos and then like I gradually increase my weight so I can see if today I'm feeling it or not and I can just like my body adapt you know if you just put you don't you don't need to put you shouldn't put actually 50 kilos straight then I did some like lunges I love doing lunges with like again the squat rock I know some people like to you know carry weight and walk um I don't feel like it really burns my glutes when I do this on the squat rock it really requires my muscles i can feel it in my hamstrings in my glutes also like in my quad then i did some sumo like deadlift it's been a while i usually do deadlifts with like my legs straight i feel like it really burns my hamstrings but with this one i love sometimes to change it up a little bit and do sumo squats but at the moment my back is really like sensitive and a bit weak sometimes so i try to not go too heavy on the weight or like i really listen to it you know if i feel like after a few sets i'm feeling like it's too heavy i don't mind like i'm just decreasing the weight and that's totally fine i don't want to hurt myself or anything so i always do that then i do like kickbacks i love kickbacks but yeah so it's hard kickbacks are burning it definitely shows like i saw a lot of results with um kickback and then i love doing at the moment you know like kind of hamstrings curl like leg prone leg curls but just with a swiss ball because you're kind of like losing your balance so it really works like your dip hamstrings muscles and i love doing this one it's just so fun and it's like it's just your body weight but it's so effective i love it and then i did a little bit of abs and that was it so i hope you did enjoy it and now i'm just gonna make my lunch because it's 12. <laughs> my lunch it's really simple but i don't add any dressing i like to add dressing for like my salads and stuff but if i just cook something really quick and like wholesome food i don't like to add a lot of sauce or like cream i like to cook my veggies in boiling water and then i add a little bit of oil like most of the times i use coconut oil but i kind of just switch between like different oils then i have like turkey breast for like my protein i don't know if i'm going 
going to eat all of that honestly it's like when i'm going to be full if i'm too full i'm just going to stop eating and then i will eat the rest tonight like as a leftover and then i have carbs with kashka i love kashka i feel like it changes up a little bit because otherwise you're always eating like pasta or rice that's a great option if you're like a little bit tired of quinoa so yeah that's pretty much it for my lunch I just made myself a smoothie and I added some puffed rice at the bottom so usually I make my smoothie a little bit more like frozen with like my banana was half frozen so that's why it didn't really work but most of the time you just have like the bottom of it with like the puffed rice and then you fill up your glass with the smoothie and you can also like if it's super frozen you can top it with um, again some puffed rice puffed quinoa and I added a little bit of cacao beans so now I'm just gonna read a bit and I'll see you for my dinner okay so for my dinner i'm craving something mexican i love mexican food it's honestly one of the best food in the world usually i make burritos but tonight i'm really craving like nachos i switch it up a little bit some of the ingredients i just make mine with what i have on hand like usually you use ground beef but i'm just gonna use like the turkey breast that i cooked at lunch then i'm just gonna make some guacamole and i'm gonna put like some cheese on top and put everything in the oven and that's gonna be it so here you you have pretty much all the ingredients i always use like tomatoes and onions for making like pico de gado kind of thing then usually you use like red beans but i love black beans so i'm just using black beans for this time um cheese and so normally you use like i don't know like a special cheese for queso but this is just like regular french cheese but it's just as good tortilla chip for like the base avocado i'm just gonna make the guacamole while the nachos are baking and i'm just gonna add a bit of mozzarella i know like it's italian you shouldn't put mozzarella on top of nachos because it's mexican but you know we're just gonna go for it so now i'm just going to add about one cup of black beans that i have drained and rinsed turkey tomato i add the chopped red onion and then i'm going to put that in the oven at 200 degrees which is about 400 fahrenheit i think so and i'm gonna let it cook for about we'll see i think 10 minutes is enough and then i'm gonna add the cheese so now i'm just gonna make some guacamole so i'm gonna mash the avocado with a fork one thing that is good with frozen avocado is that it's never too ripe now i'm just gonna add some lime juice a little bit of a bit of like pink himalayan salt and i just blend it all together again so now i'm gonna add the mozzarella on top some cheese okay at this point it's not nachos with cheese it's definitely cheese with nachos underneath and this is the final result i'm so hungry with just the guacamole on top the cheese the only thing which is missing is like cilantro i know some people hate cilantro but i do love it some people also add some jalapeno jalapeno how do you say that i feel like it's too spicy like it really upset my stomach and it causes like inflammatory reactions to my skin so i prefer not to use it but look at that It's so hot here. I'm honestly pouring sweat, but let's try some. Mmm, <laughs> this is incredible, honestly. Mm. I have no words for Mexican food. Like, honestly, I can't even imagine some people never tried it. How do you live? Seriously, like, try Mexican food once and you're gonna be addicted. 
Look at that. <laughs> this is so cheesy. Mm -mm. My whole family is gonna love this. I'm gonna go editing and then I'm just gonna go to bed. So thank you so much for watching this what I eat in a day. I hope you did enjoy it. I always love filming it and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss anything and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!